Hi, Scott Rendell. Gonna talk about musty odors today. What you have, and let's talk about the different surfaces. We'll start with carpeting. So what we have, once again, is multi-levels of an install. We have the subfloor, we have the padding, and we have the carpeting. Well, if you have a musty odor in your basement, for instance, and you think it's coming from the carpeting, chances are one, two, or all three of these surfaces have some sort of contamination. Um, it's not uncommon for basements to get damp. You have humidity that's raised in the basement because of outside temperatures are generally higher in the summertime than the basement area. So that heat's trying to travel in, gets behind the walls, starts to little, grow a little bit of microbial growth. And next thing you have uh, some odors behind the wall. Now on the carpeting specifically, more importantly, you'd probably have a spill. And what will happen, even if it's just water, you may have water that stays there for a long, long time because of that heightened humidity in the basement. Plus, generally in the basement, it's contacting the ground, which is con uh, um, concrete. And the concrete is, it holds moisture extremely well, especially when there's a pad over top of it. So, how do you get rid of this? First of all, like any odor uh, removal um, service, we have to determine the source. Is it indeed coming from the carpeting? Is it coming from the wall? Uh, is it coming from both of those areas or perhaps in another area? Perhaps it's coming from, um, I don't know, furniture or something else that's been wet or damaged. So identify the source. Next, we need to figure out how uh, bad it is and determine a game plan about how to correct that. If it's in the carpeting with a pad and a subfloor, Let's say it's urine, for instance, and you've cleaned it up from the top side. That pad may still be holding lots of urine and wafting up and wicking up, as I've talked in other videos about wicking. That odor will also wick up, causing a musty or malodor in that carpeting. So we have to address what part of the install has the contamination and get rid of it. If it's kind of our general rule of thumb, if it's in the carpeting, um, 25% and more of, a, of contamination in an area, it's probably going to be less expensive to at least replace that pad. So we would cut it out, and while we're down there, we'd also take a look at the subfloor. I had some water in this, that's why it's all wet right there. Uh, we take a look at the subfloor, clean it if, it, if necessary, and put a um, oil-based sealer over top of shellac to seal in any latent odors that can't be cleaned out of concrete or wood floor. So that's a little bit about musty odors. We always want to identify where it's coming from. Second of all, once we've done that, figure out a game plan to be cost effective and cause the least amount of damage to repair. And third, take care of it. So remove the source and we get rid of the odors once again. Thanks.